Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is all rumour at this point in time. This comes to us from The Rap and Umberto Gonzalez. This is their exclusive. I'm going to say from what I know, uh, from trusted sources that I know as well, that this actually isn't the case. Um, and that anything that may be from this as a shred of truth, i.e. perhaps he's not signed anything, etc., is merely a formality. Uh, so, And I would also say that all evidence points to the contrary as well. So if you want to be ultra pedantic about it, you can say that there's a shred of truth here is that, yeah, he's not signed anything, but it's a done deal, if that makes any sense. So we'll dive into this today. This is me just giving you the report, basically saying what I've heard from my sources and also other people that I know and trust and their sources, who are very reliable, say the complete opposite. Uh, and, you know, Umberto is kind of up and down on his uh, reliability on some of this stuff. So in a new report, shed some light on what's really going on with Henry Cavill's return as Superman. Uh, and it's been confirmed. Again, it's not been confirmed. Someone just saying it is not a confirmation. Uh, as of right now, there's no deal in place for the actor to play the hero again. Which, look, all evidence points to the contrary. <laughs> Uh, in terms of no deal being in place, it's a formality. <laughs> it is a done deal. <laughs> He's gone around, said loads of stuff. I mean, it's happening. They've even talked about fast-tracking now the sequel to Man of Steel. It's been discussed in every single earnings call. We haven't had a Superman movie for X, Y, and Z years, David Zaslav says. This is their priority. So when we're talking about this... People claiming that this is the case. It's just a formality. It's not. This is just being pedantic with wording. Oh, he's not inked anything. Yeah, but hands have been shaken, as it were. So let's dive into this. Ugh. I hate doing stuff like this. Because loads of people that will just jump in the comments going, See? You were wrong. So, well, proof's in the pudding. We'll just wait. But anyway, the RAP reports that numerous insiders have informed them that no writer or director is attached to any possible Man of Steel sequel as of now. We knew that already. That's not news. It has a producer who is searching for a director and a writer. Why the fly and toss this is being claimed as news goes to show just how shallow and... Uh, you know, I guess vague this individual wants to be, just trying to fluff up his piece. Now, I say, in fact, it said that uh, there is also no formal deal for Cavill to play Superman again, meaning the actor isn't signed up for any future appearances at this point in time. Again, yeah, formal. It's just, these are just formalities. There is a producer, someone producing Man of Steel sequel right now. They're looking for the director right now. This, These are the facts. So this here, being claimed as news, is just nonsense. This is what I like to call clicks, you know. I mean, this is Umberto, I'm just going to go out and say it, you know, just, just doing stuff for clicks, basically. So he also said, according to one insider, again, an insider, it's one person, that's not journalistic due diligence, right? Let's be honest, that's not journalistic due diligence. When I said, hey, look, I've got uh, leaks for... Hellraiser, when I've got leaks for Candyman, all these other films, it was from multiple sources. And lo and behold, I was completely right. You know, I revealed Candyman like a year before its release or whenever it was. It was just ridiculous. So one insider is not journalistic due diligence. In fact, it's really poor of Umberto to make this article based on one person. But he says, according to an insider, as it currently stands at the moment, there's no forward momentum on the project while newly installed DC studio bosses James Gunn and Peter Safran have been busy fine-tuning their long-range plan for the DCU. But that's wrong. We know that there's forward momentum on this, and the forward momentum comes in the form of, oh, there's a producer looking for a director and a writer. That's the forward momentum you have. Now, apparently the long-range plan is likely to be revealed in the next two months, meaning we don't have too much longer to wait before getting some sort of slate reveal, which also means, give it two months... And I'll bet you anything, I'll be proven right. So we have to believe that will include Cavill's Superman, as the backlash to him being excluded from future plans after Black Adam 
would completely derail the new DCU. Prior to his return, it's pointed out that there were rumblings about a full-blown reboot. Well, they also mentioned rumours of a second surprise cameo in The Flash next year. They are literally paving the way for him to return. So he's going to return. The fact that people are trying to claim that he's not just goes to show the lunacy behind individuals. I'm not even a DC fan. I don't care about DC. But this is just basic common sense. And they, this article even says, you know, it's hard to imagine Cavill not being front and centre in the DCU as Superman. So don't fret too much. However, it's definitely important not to get too excited with no firm deal in place. It's a done deal. It's literally just a formality. He needs to sign some paperwork. They need to get a writer on board and a director. And he'll work with them. You, you think someone who's got such a good... Uh, relationship with the fans is going to absolutely derail that by spouting a whole bunch of nonsense uh, that was completely wrong because that's what Henry Cavill's done he's been talking uh, about all of this stuff yep we're going to do this blah 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 blah. I mean come on you think you honestly think you're going to believe just mm, it's just nonsense everything everything says otherwise but Umberto here is just doing some clickbait and I'm just I'm going to claim it's just clickbait it is clickbait so yeah, maybe he's not signed a deal. But is he coming back? Yeah, definitely. Is it a done deal? Yeah. Are the formalities not lining up? Yeah, not yet. Who cares? There are so many things in Hollywood, and this is the thing that a load of people don't understand, is that hands can be shaken and that's the deal. That's the deal. It's not a legally binding deal. Obviously not. But it's enough of a deal for Henry Cavill to go out and do PR for DC, saying, even in interviews, yep, I've been gently holding out hope that I'd return, and now I'm returning. I mean, really? You're going to think he's lying? Come on. Hands have been shaken. No contracts have been signed. Hands have been shaken. The producer is working on it, getting a director and a writer, which means, once that's done, contracts will be signed. Yay! There you have it. So anyway, yeah, this is all nonsense. Cheers, guys. Take care.